Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you how to get familiar, install, and set up WP Coupon Companion. Now the first thing you'll need to do is simply install the plugin by going underneath plugins and clicking add new. Once you've done that, go to upload and then find wherever you've saved your plugin. I usually say mine's right on the desktop and you'll see it right there. Once you've found wherever you've saved your plugin, press open and upon opening, press install now give it a second and then press activate. I've already installed and activated mine so we'll move on and go to our install plugins and right there you'll see WP Coupon Companion already installed. Now the next thing you'll need to do is go over to settings and go to Coupon Companion. Now you're going to want to insert in the email address you would like to use um, for your Coupon Companion where what account you'd like for your money to go in and then of course the currency right now it's set in United States dollars and I suggest that everyone keeps it there but for whatever reason you may be in a specific country where you're only advertising to a specific set of people using a specific currency in that case you just change this shortener to whatever you're using okay so let's actually go and set up Thing so that you know you can set your product what you're going to do is you're going to go into your post and click this little button right here it's a green circle with a dollar sign in it's kind of hard to see the dollar sign because these buttons in WordPress are just so darn small anyhow when you click that button you're going to name your product I've named it test product you're going to set your price as you see I've set it to ten dollars and then the return URL and this is the URL that you're successful buyers are going to be visiting and this can be the download page or maybe a page to a coupon or a page showing a special phone number whatever that page is whatever they're accessing upon successfully purchasing this is the URL that you'll set right here and then the discount code I've set it to test code one you can make it whatever you want you might want to make it some funny letters and symbols and numbers whatever that case is you're able to create your own discount code so it's unique to your product in your store and then of course the amount that you like to discount now you can do this as a percentage or a solid dollar amount using a decimal so instead of 25 percent I might just want to set it to one dollar or I might want to set it to two dollars and fifty cents and in that case be sure to use your decimal in any case I would suggest using a decimal it, I just like um, to do it. it doesn't mess up anything but for now I'll set it to 25 percent once you've made those changes go ahead and do the save changes and then hit insert code now as of now my code has already been inserted and as you'll see the short code is WPCC and hit update or publish and then visit the view post then you will actually see a block that people can insert in their discount code now if they don't insert in the discount code or the right discount code it'll be ten dollars so you might want to have a regular buy button above this uh, for whatever reason or this might be a special page where they can use the discount code whatever the case might be if they don't insert in the coupon code when they hit apply discount it should just say ten dollars because that's what we've already set in place and we'll give it a moment to load and it will say test product for ten dollars now let's go back to my website and let's say that we do put in the correct code which is test code one and press apply discount remember I've said it's a 25 percent so it should be seven dollars and fifty cents I believe is 25 percent off yes so seven dollars and fifty cents is the final price of the product so as you can see it's super easy to set up super easy to use and of course beneficial to you and your customers. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I thank you for your purchase.